Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motskis, and today is our Sunday box opening. Hello. Hi. This is Zone Place. She's happy. Yep. Hang on. You should go, go up close Not so good. they can see that cute little face. Can you see her over there? Cute little face. A little hand up there. Put a little hat on so when the delivery guys brought things. Oh, she's so it. It was kind of funny because what was it? Like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when we were saying, you can't spoil a baby. Yeah. <laughs> You oh, just sorry. hold that baby the, the whole time. <laughs> it's not going to matter. No. Yeah, it's just going to matter. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to be held we all there. She's totally asleep, and we set her down. Oh, Wait. Oh, my Wait. back. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. I need my pillows. But I told Robert, so, because um, he said the same thing, but put the baby down. No. No. I can, I can pull a towel holding the baby. <laughs> and occasionally I do put her down in her crib so she can sleep while I do dishes or whatever, but um, I told her this is my last one. Oh, that's so sad. I know. That unless we have a, a yeah, unless we have a little surprise baby later, but um, yeah, it's my last one, so I'm going to do whatever I want. That's it's funny. the youngest. There's a stigma that has to be upheld, and <laughs> how are you going to do that unless you spoil it from now to if whatever. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. He rolled his eyes because he's the youngest, but he doesn't think he was spoiled. Oh, God, whatever Ask he his sisters, wanted. his mom and his yeah. dad. <laughs> so, he's like, whatever, that's not how it works. Like, mm, it does, Pretty though. much is. Denise, are you trying to sneak through? You can come this way if you want to. But yeah, so I guess this is my last one. I'm just going to do whatever. Hold matter. her the whole time. Does not matter. I won't have baby cuddles again. Carry go her into yeah. to <laughs> preschool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she has weak legs. Be sure and carry yeah. her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She'll want to go run and chase her brother and sister, so, yeah, but eventually. Yeah. For as long as she wants it, that's what you hope for anyway, is that even adolescence, you know, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, pretty soon they're going to go, Mom, don't kiss me. Mom, yeah. don't, I don't know hugs. Yeah, you're embarrassing. Which, of course, makes you just want to go, ah. I know. I know. <laughs> Come in. I can't wait to embarrass The boys, kids. oh my gosh, so much. It's like, Mom, don't embarrass me. Oh. You said the word. I didn't hear the don't part. It's just a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I love mom. It didn't matter. Yeah. I was gonna smooch it. every. All of their friends were yeah. okay with me smooching. Here's all Mama Rang. Smooch is smooching. Where's your mom? Is your mom coming? Is your mom packing something for <laughs> football? Because they're you know a traveling football game. Yeah. Oh yeah, here you go. Mom, make sure everybody had everybody, everybody had quilts. Yeah. On that wrestling bus. It's cold. And it had to be minky backed quilts. Yep. Yes, that's true. Yep. She was yeah. the little pride mom from the backside. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but not yeah. So I don't care. No, Whatever, it's as long right. as she wants it, I don't even care. No one here's Robert judge can you. say say all he wants to say. That's right. <laughs> he can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> you make me put her down. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my drink. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm parched. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, see, once again, we always forget to tell you who we are. We assume that it's all just our same friends. <laughs> Everybody watching. And then, did you get to say hello yet? No, we didn't say oh, hello. Did we get to say hello to some of our friends? Say hello. hello. Patricia. <laughs> she said she had fun chatting with you the other day. Yes. It was yeah. Nice talking the other day. It's fun. Um, we like it. You know, we'll call and, you know, whoever has time. And, you know, there's only five of us that work here. Six. Yeah. Five and a half. Because Marge only works two days a week, and Barb is, of course, back to school, so otherwise it's just the five of us that are here. And so, oftentimes, I'll bet we probably make, what, four or five phone calls a day where somebody has a question about something, or we have to make a substitution or whatever. Or you guys give us a call. and Yeah. yeah. And then we end up chatting on the phone for I don't know how long, So, but that's good. That's always fun. It's fun to put a, a voice with a name. We can't always get the face right, but, mm -hmm. um, but that's always kind Hearing of all those accents. I know, I know. It's fun to... But anyway, so we just assume we're talking to our same friends, but if you've just ventured in, we are a mother-daughter duo. We own a quilt shop in central Washington State uh, for 23 years, and so we do have a brick-and-mortar large, large shop that is 5,000 square feet. We have about 12,000 volts of fabric. Um, we tell everybody who comes in, you better come in with a plan. Otherwise, it is a bit overwhelming. Even for seasoned quilters, it it's is. overwhelming because mm -hmm. there's a lot that's in here. Um, but um, we ship everywhere. And, uh, 
if you are shipping, if we're shipping in within the United States, it's a $9 flat fee, but we ship priority. So we ship it out. That's what Tracy's doing back here. We ship it out same day. Um, and then if it's international, we weigh it and we find out where it's going to go. We love to say that we ship to Australia. Yeah. And, um, oh, our friend Tracy. From Did hers Australia? go yet? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we have a little it. gifty bag. Oh yeah, we're sending something special to Tracy. So, um, but anyway, and um, so we we uh, we find out how ex what it's going to cost, and then we send you the invoice and the cheapest way that we can get it to you. Then we send that. And then you let us know. You pay it, and we cut everything and send it, or you can say, oh, oh, heavens oh. no, yeah, or give us another option to try, and yeah. yeah. Postage is going up. I don't know if everybody was notified yeah. of that. What is it, the 21st or something? When Monday, was the date? The 22nd. Monday the 22nd. Oh, no, Sunday's the 22nd, actually. Mm -hmm. So it becomes effective. Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. So they're going, um, we are not raising our rates, however. We're going to. It might it. affect my, our international people because you pay whatever they tell us. Um, but yeah, yeah but our we're flat keep, We're keeping system. everything else the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we do box openings twice a week. Mm -hmm. And we do a little Fabra chat on Wednesday mornings where we talk a whole lot about nothing. Uh, we do that anyway, even when we try not to. We're yakety. <laughs> and then um, we also do different classes and stuff and fun things. And we're kind of mm -hmm. trying to catch up because yeah, half of the duo was busy yeah. doing other things <laughs> yeah. here. Finally yeah. back to work two days a week. So yeah. But there's still a lot. We've been having our YouTube channel has been like full fledged for three years now. Yeah. So there's a lot of free classes online, free series. If you're a beginning quilter, the rose samplers are really nice um, beginner series. Um, kind of started the classes. Um, but yeah, and a lot of just simple cla um, quilt classes if you're doing pre cuts or half yard cuts. So lots of things you can do when you're starting around there. Yeah. And we do have some, uh, just announced, because we were just planning it last night, we have kind of a new fun thing. I don't think we've even told Tracy yet. Um, what? We're gonna, I know, it's going to be really fun. We're going to do this thing. Uh, it's called Galentine's. Yeah. And so this what we're going to do. A Galentine's? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we have two friends of ours that are also YouTube creators, um, Yvette and then Chris O'Neill. Chris O'Neill is from So The Distance. She's somebody who made a bra for us for our bra auction in October. And Yvette, uh, we met her at, at Market. Yvette R Renee. We met her at Market. Yeah. Yeah, we were sitting oh, down to eat. And she comes up, oh, I know you. Can I have this <laughs> I really like that. That's that super really fun. Cool. So anyway, it was all Yvette's idea. So what we're going to do is we'll talk more about it on Wednesday and we'll have a separate video about it but what we're going to do is have kind of a little secret sister thing. We're going to draw names to see, to see between the four of us who's making what for who and then we're mm -hmm. going to show you what we've made. We'll do a little video about how to make a what fun little Valentine's yeah. project and then we're going to um, do a little shopping, um, put it in a little package and then we're going to mail it out by February 6th so that then we can do a box opening and do a little reveal. So um, wow, we'll Valentine's. link. Valentine's, cool. I know, I think it'll be really fun. So we'll link their videos also, and we'll tell you more about that. We'll talk about it also on Wednesday, and then um, we'll do the videos, and then you'll see that again. But I guess that's the other reason, too, to um, subscribe, because I think there's a lot of people that only watch the box openings mm -hmm. and other people that pretty much just watch the fabric chat and they just watch the box openings for the chatty they fast forward through the fabric <laughs> i know you try <laughs> or to kind of talk i mean i don't know i guess we don't try at all no we don't try. we can't be contained we can't bro. <laughs> we just say like, fast we'll forward say it. yeah mm -hmm. you guys heard it first about galentine's wednesday mm -hmm. they'll hear it but sometimes we forget to say it again somewhere else so yeah it's just best just to hang Dang. out with us <laughs> <laughs> to know what's really going on. And, and yeah, I thought you were going to say that we try not to be so chatty. And we oh, do yeah, at the end. It's like, oh my I gosh, think that was an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> ah. Even for Fabric <laughs> Chat on Wednesday, Mom's like, oh, that wasn't very long. I feel kind of bad. Like, Mom, that was that. still 47 minutes. Ah. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. I didn't realize we talked for that long. <laughs> it's probably a lot of whole, like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the baby? <laughs> No. So right now the barber chats are a lot about baby, but she's fun. She's just people are liking. People yeah. really like seeing her and Wyatt to see how it wasn't much. A, I know, and he was so sweet. He just loves he her. He loves her. Yeah, yeah. He's really and yeah, sweet. they like seeing the picture of Grandpa Thomas. 
holding yes. Lucy. Yes. Sweet. He man. was the one, if you recognized him, he was the one who got the Lily going. Yeah. His, he wanted her to name Lily. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you can call her Lily. She would love to have a special Grand Uncle Thomas name. Mm -hmm. In addition to Peanut. To Peanut, yes. Harper calls her Peanut. Robert calls her Peanut. Mm -hmm. Why? Just Maisie May, as fast as he can say Maisie it, it May. runs together. It's one big word. Yeah. Oh, she's so sweetie. content. So content. Um, let's see, the other thing I was going to mention is, tra we didn't talk about it Wednesday, but Tracy Tuesday was the bundles. That's the other reason oh, yeah. to subscribe. Um, so those went, what was it? Was it 25 minutes? That's it. Was it, it was fast. Oh, and I did see it. everyone shared. Everyone yeah, was everyone really nice. Everyone was really nice. Yeah. I don't think anybody got, I think a couple people got like two scrap bags and two. Did you see any rolls. notes? Did anybody care that it was, you know, No, no, mm -hmm. no everybody was, number? oh, number, number nine's my lucky number. And I said, oh, mine is two. <laughs> and, you know, or. Um, I hope they get what they want. Good. What color? There was only a couple because we forgot to mention that when things go really fast, oh, um, yeah. our website, it takes at least 60 seconds to recycle. So if you ordered something Within at the same second. 523 one that overlapped. Overlapped. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's good. good. That's good. good. Yeah. So yeah, so it was, yeah, I think it was, it went really well, yeah. but it was kind of a fun way to do it. So we'll do it yeah. that way more often, but we, we won't know when, not until she has enough. And we were impressed. Together. So we put a little need to know video on mm -hmm. our website in the remnants to let you guys know, hey, they're naked. You're not going to see what you're going to get. It's going to be a surprise. And I, what was it? I think in like the four five hours before they actually went live. Um, almost over 40 people watched that video. Yeah. So you guys that you were found to, it You guys there. knew you where had to, to go. hunt for it. I'm glad. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because we did good. want to know our regular viewers, you know, who knew it was coming and knew where to go. We wanted you guys to make sure you got it before, you know, someone who wandered in, which may not be fair, <laughs> but I don't know. We appreciate We welcome regulars. those of you wandering <laughs> in. <laughs> This is your only first warning. We will soon include you also. <laughs> <laughs> well, I felt bad because Jan Kalanick couldn't find it. Oh, no! I know, and I said, by the time I saw, I think I was at a meeting or something, and by the time I saw her text, I said, oh, no, Jan, I just now saw this. Did you find it? She goes, no, but it's okay. <laughs> so, Dang it. I know, I know. So, you know, we feel bad. Um, those of you who are thinking, if Jan, like, tell me where to go next time, uh, let me just tell you, next time, where to look for scrap bags, or if Tracy finds something weird, she can just put it up there for a little surprise. Oh, um, kind of like Clarence, you never know what Ooh, you're going to see. Yeah, um, what you go to, um, go to our website website fabricpatch.net click shop online and then go all the way down through the categories so you're going to see books you're going to see fabric kits there is a category called remnant rolls slash scrap bags or scrap bags slash remnant rolls whatever that is click that and that's where they will appear whenever they appear awesome so, yeah. except we used to have pictures of them and they sold in seconds and it was a it was a mad dash. It was of, so bad. <laughs> so bad. And so now it's just a number. It is yeah. truly a grab bag. And I think that's why it maybe went so clean. You didn't know what you're you didn't get. Even know, you, you, you didn't, didn't get all the purple you ones. Didn't know. Yeah. yeah. You didn't know what you wanted. Yeah. yeah. And But they really were all beautiful. Tracy does a really nice job. Yeah, it's cool. And They're cute. Eliza, too. Analyza. Analyza. She's giving color. Right. Subcontracted help out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I have a couple other things, but we can mention some of these as we go. Yeah, but we She's going to be 10. Good. I know. Oh, she's going to be 10 next week. Proving 10 years old. Ten. So I want you to do the little thing. I know. <laughs> Latin and blonde hair back in the day. Cutie pie. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah, her birthday is the 26th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the quote behind us, we've had, please <laughs> get rid of Christmas trees. <laughs> Why are we looking at that? So, um, so the quote behind us is called Daisy Blooms. And so, so what pretty. those are, those flowers are kind of 3D, um, but we also have, um, this version is the one that's hanging in the baby room, and that one is just appliqued down and just stitched mm -hmm. down. And what it is, is it's kind of fun if you, um, but the pattern will show you, is it's hearts. 
So mm -hmm. if you were to look up, you um, so those are just um, fuse. We put the fuse on the wrong side of the fabric, fuse them together, then cut them out, and then they're actually three dimensional. So it's kind of yeah. a fun thing. Yeah. And the one we have hanging in the baby room, um, we stitched all the way down, but then clipped to make it raggedy. Yeah. So you could really give it to a baby without something bad happening. Yeah. And the one I did, I think it was this one, one of them. If you have a long arm, you can do the whole entire quilt start to finish on a long arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty slick. Yeah. And it talks about all of that in the pattern, but anyway, kind yeah. of a fun one. And Thanks. I think also the one that's in there, it's done out of minky and chenille and yeah. bits and bits. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't just stuff. you can't just throw that stuff away or put no. that in a dog bed. You gotta use it all no. up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Oh, I love that look. I know. She's just thinking cute. <coughs> At least the hat fits her. That hat yeah, did the hat not does fit her. her. She no, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. All right, All right, so we cracked open this Notions box because we had a couple things that we had to put in people's boxes. So Elizabeth and who else? People that we've already called about. So Joe. we... Joe. Oh, no, no, we didn't. We didn't. So we didn't get the Hugo tape yet. Oh, yeah, the Hugo but tape. We're still, we're still holding out for the Hugo tape. We totally sold out of the one-inch Hugo tape, and we only have, like one left of the half inch and one of the one inch. So that's coming probably in probably Wednesday's box opening. I imagine it would be here, but, um, but we sold out of these super, super fast. And these were the, um, we just showed these yeah. was it last Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Last Sunday. Sunday. Maybe Sunday. The electric seam ripper. Yeah, it really is. Select. It really is like a little baby razor, you know, is kind of what it is. But um, but it works really well, just battery operated. And if you are doing a ton of seam ripping, it just is really gentle. Or if you are a machine embroiderer and you have a ton, 10,000 stitches or something that you have to take out of, um, it works really, really well. Mm -hmm. So every machine embroiderer, I think, um, has those. Right. So it's and really nice. Um, since it's made as if you know, like a razor, it's not going to get to your fabric. It's going to literally cut through your thread and not try to, you know, cut apart your fabric, yeah. which is pretty cool. And sometimes those pesky chin hairs, you'll you just know never it. know <laughs> when you're at retreat and you have it if you need to borrow it. Yes. Um, and oh, then also retro in here clean. was retro clean. This is really good stuff. I use this a lot. This is, um, you know, the whole rage is now, we've been making our own soap for a while. Yeah. Bell's and nap the man. Bell's nap the Who told Every, them? I don't know who told them. That was like a secret forever. That at the dollar store or 97 cents a bar at Walmart. And now it is like $18. For a while it was $10. And now you can't even find it. Yeah, Bell's nap the is... Machine like Tide Company bought it all, so you can't. Oh, is that what it is? Somebody did some something people. bad to Phil Snapsa. So it is a really good because it's this soap that's been around for forever, and um, mm -hmm. all of us know Grandma's about Secret. Grandma's Secret, and so you just as a bar, you can get the edge of that bar wet, and you can just rub it on there, or we grind mm -hmm. it up um, with our food processor, and we add it along with washing soda and. Uh, a little scoop of OxyClean and what's the other thing? Washing um, soda. <laughs> oh, I can't remember it. It's Arm and Hammer. Oh, that's uh -huh. the soda. Washing that's soda. soda. Washing suds or you know, the, the, there's a there's, three there's ingredients. a borax. And borax. Borax. Okay. Borax. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Mule Team. Mule Team. Borax. Uh, equal parts of yeah mm -hmm. of all those four yeah. things and Fels naphtha is hard to find these days. Fels naphtha. So, um, but this is extremely similar. I'm not gonna lie though. This is a uh, more expensive. I wouldn't do all of my laundry in this. I do all of my laundry in the other stuff. But this is a little like this. Is this a two pound bag? A one pound bag? This is um, fifteen dollars. But what this is, it's similar to that. But what it has in it is something that will help with yellowing. So if you have some old linens, um, an doilies. old quilt doily, something like that. Um, it works kind of the same way as the filled snap, but it has other stuff in it. And so mm -hmm. you just do your detergent and you add this in there, you dissolve it and you soak it. And it's also, it doesn't have anything strong in there that's going to um, um, create any holes. Because that's the other big mm -hmm. thing is when you have fabric that could be a hundred years old. I have some quilts that are over a hundred years old. Harsh detergent can do bad things. Mm. You do not want to put them in a washing machine. You do not want to use today's brand detergents or certainly no bleach. Right. Or even the liquid stuff. I know like mm -hmm. the blue tide or green tide that will stain a hundred yeah. year old piece of fabric. It will. 
I mean, keep in mind, you know, it's a plant, right? It's cotton, mm -hmm. which is perishable. So we have to be careful the way that we take care of it. So anyway, that's what this is. We go through a lot of this. I okay, keep so this on hand all the time. This is what I keep. But if I'm going to, you know, if you're gifting an heirloom quilt or something, it's kind of nice just to throw in a little bit of this and mm -hmm. just let them know that there's a way to wash a quilt. But uh, and back by popular demand. Oh my gosh, we cannot keep these in This stock. big, huge color carry-all wheel tote. Yeah. Huge. Like whole, whole quilts. You and can hold your whole family, all of your children. Yeah. At once. It's a picnic. In this picnic bag. in a bag. Picnic in a bag. Um, and then on the back side, it has all of the pertinent uh, quilt shop information. So yeah. if you're shopping for backing, binding, borders, yeah. whatever, it it's is It's a in good there. retreat bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, yeah, the retreat checklist. Did you say that? Yeah. What you should bring to your retreat with you. Love it. I love it. It's a really good bag. Sure. So we got we'll more. Sell out again. I don't know. Somebody asked me, why don't you just buy 30 at a time? Well, we buy what we all buy stuff from a distributor rather than the, this is made by CNT Publishing. And so rather than call 12 different companies, mm -hmm. we will order all they have in stock. So we have some other stuff coming and I was going to order 24 and they had four yeah. in stock of just another item that... You know, we're going to sell out of super fast. Yeah. I just never know. I mean, instead of yeah. having, I mean, you guys would appreciate it if we had too much and then we could put it on sale for you guys. But, um, we, t and we don't have, if you've ever seen our store, we don't have a lot of space left. We mm -hmm. fill it up as fast as it gets empty. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> for us to have to find a hidey hole to store it until we do sell out, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to do it as we go. Finally, the last, <gasps> the last part of the thread. Yay. So this is the last of the thread that we needed. There are 54 threads in the thread kit for the Jaybird Block of the Month Garden Quilt. So, Crazy. Oh my gosh. You can leave this in the front. That's I'm going to leave it in there. Yeah. Um, some more little uh, quilter's guidebooks. This is um, Guide to Interfacings. Mm -hmm. So that whole 911 FF that I love so much, or soft mm -hmm. and stable, any kind of stabilizers. So if you do a lot of machine embroidery, a lot of bags, um, you use a lot of stabilizers, this little book will just give you the information of everything you need to know and what's out there on the market today. No, your needles. We just showed this last Sunday, sold out of them. So mm -hmm. super no fast. math quilt charts, sold out of that one again. Again, just a mini pocket version of the quilted reference tool. You can keep that one in your sewing room. Take this one to retreat to the quilt shop. This gives you all your pertinent information. If you have a birthday card, you know, yeah, just one. plop that in a birthday card. If you have a friend who has a birthday and you're just now thinking of it, let us know on the notes. We will put it in a birthday card for you and yeah. forge your name. We're happy to do Love that. It. Um, binder clips. This one is the larger, what is there, 50 or 100 in here? 50. I think the 100 comes in the box. Yeah. 50. No, that's the 100. I think the 50 comes, I don't know. 100. Sweet more 100. <laughs> don't trust me. <laughs> um, or as we call them in our house, cat toys. Oh, God. Stupid cats. I know, you always know when they go running out of the sewing room, it's like, wait, what do you have? Yeah, do you have a do bobbin, have a bobbin or, a binder clip? or a binder clip? That's right. And then yeah. you hear it, tick, 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 Yeah, and then my Roomba the finds the remnants of the bobbin. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Then I get in trouble. Robert gets mad. Oh, I'm sorry. Robert gets mad at me. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. So funny. We're so loud while I'm trying to sleep. Sure, baby. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I get in trouble when Robert has to clean the thread out of the room bus. Like, it's know. not me. It's Blame not the cat. Mm -hmm. I don't throw it outside my sewing room. Mm -hmm. Throw it onto the floor. No. Yeah. Um, and finally, back in stock. Yeah, quilt, uh, the Quilt Builder card deck. So deck number one. So 40 blocks, eight different layouts, endless possibilities. Um, you have size, uh, one, two, three, four, five different sizes of blocks, all the way up to a 36-inch block. Just in case you haven't been watching for a while and you don't know what these are, they are pretty Oh yeah, you're awesome. going to open set two. I'm going to open, two. open okay. set two. There's two different ones. So there's the card deck and then there's card deck number two. So entirely different um, combinations are in there. It's kind of... Oh, so yeah, so they... It's they're like little colored. coasters. Yeah, they do look like little coasters. So they're color, card, color coded. And they are little cards. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah. It's plastic, which... 
Yeah, 40 new blocks, 8 new layouts, and still the unlimited possible. Kind of fun, and fun too, if, you know, the grandkids are over whatever, picking out, you know, a block or whatever. So there's yardage requirements for um, rectangles, how much fabric you need for figuring a quilt, corner alignment, half square triangle, yardage for quilt backing, side setting, all kinds yeah, of stuff. Layouts. And then you get into, oh yeah, layouts, simplicity, oh gosh, all kinds of information. And then, and see they're all color coded. I see the border depending upon what the information is. And then all of the purple borders, these are all the blocks. So that is a block and it shows it in a quilt. Mm -hmm. And cool, you can right? make it in six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, or 36 inches. 36 and they give you the math for all of that. And again, it's just the basic cutout information. Gosh, imagine you of just... course have to know how to make it into the block it is, but it's awesome. We should, the next quilt that we should hang up up there is the quilt back there that you have two great big, or are they like 24 inch blocks? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that we should hang up. Yeah, because you guys know every time I get one of these, I love the idea of a 36 inch block. Mm -hmm. How fast you can make yeah, a baby imagine. quilt, how fast you can make a lap quilt, just make a 36 inch block, put a few borders on it, or make like a super big king. Make well, four of them and them all together. And that's the whole idea of timber. Mm -hmm. Your pattern timber, because timber is just a great big huge log cabin block. Yeah, and it's so like six inch strips and it's just this whole big quilt. I promise I will get this back in the right order. Or, or so, yeah. this will be awesome. Mine. I love the quilt builder <laughs> card decks. Mm -hmm. Not you. No, not oh, a fan. Oh, what's that look? Oh, she's got the best lower lip, man. <laughs> Anything she needs. Just poops out that little lower lip. Done. Gets everything. Signed, sealed, delivered. Whatever you need. Speaking of Log Cabin, this is not a new book. This is just um, ordered it again, um, Log Cabin Improv. And what's kind of fun about it is that um, all of the kind of fun ways that you can do Log Cabin blocks. We're doing, I think we have three different, three of our retreats are featuring a form of a Log Cabin yeah. block. Because we're doing, um, the pineapple for the... Block. For the Southern Comfort Retreat, we're doing the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Not quite like, I mean, it's this, but a little different. And then for the beginning retreat, the summer fun one, we're doing uh, star stepping, star mm -hmm. which is a courthouse steps, which is a log cabin. Mm -hmm. And then for the kids one, yeah, the we're buddies doing, retreat, the buddies we're retreat, doing crackers. we're doing crackers, which is a half log cabin block. Yeah. So. We, we love a good we log love cabin. a log cabin, and it's great for beginners or someone who wants to work on scraps, get something quick done, mm -hmm. not do something that's going to take a lot of brain power, do something just mindless. It's a whole lot of strip piecing and fabulous. Yeah. I remember I did a really cute purple one, and I made it wonky. I think you guys have heard this one. Yeah, we and by wonky, I, we'll show you. A um, and I loved it. And then we dad came in and said, "Oh, what are you guys working on?" You know, and he didn't like it. He's like, "What's wrong with it?" He's, what do you mean? What's wrong with it? Why'd what? you do it wrong? Why'd you make it wrong? It's all crooked. You need to fix that. I was like, "No, I'm I meant Why don't to you make just it crooked. tear it out yeah. and fix it." He's like, "What do you mean you made it crooked?" Yeah, right. He's like, "No, I did." No one's gonna believe that you did that on purpose. But he don't even get know. out. Yeah, and you're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> well, <goodbye. laughs> Why are you in your anyways? <laughs> so funny. No one invited you in. Yeah. What do you That was the one thing he was like, I, like I do not like that. I don't like it that. It's not right. No. And it's so funny that he's like perfectly okay crushing you. I know. <laughs> it's horrible. He's going to tell me exactly what I need to know. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's okay, though. You're going to know, though. He's white or black. That's right. That's he's either right. proud or. Mm, you got to do better. Yes, that's right. All right, I'm just going to open these up and send these over okay. here. Um, oh, just some filler pieces. Um, so when we ordered more blue to go with the Songs of Faith kits that we're cutting for you guys, um, we've got some more to fill in our blue wall, our blue color wall. Um, so it's shadow plain, so it's a tiny little marble kind of texture on going on. Um, it doesn't give me a color name. Um, it's just YBWS. I it says it on the um, packing slip. Oh, do you think it does? Well, maybe. No. No. Color number oh. BWS and 12W. Crazy. Oh. I'll put them all up so you They're can see They're going to look super close because that's what we did is we just got... Yeah. I'll put them up and then 
Um, I'll put text for you guys so you can see all of them. Okay. But yeah, so we got, um, you guys can't totally see a lot of it. Can they see but should I try to? Just, here, if you just go down a little bit, because then I'll put the text of what my little numbers are. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? And so I think that looks pretty. This yeah. one is a nice bright blue. Yeah. This one's um, YBWS, kind of a medium sky blue, mm -hmm. um, BWS, a good navy, mm -hmm. um, N12. And then this guy is kind of um, just a baby just blue. Just a sky blue, baby blue. And yeah. will you put those two next to each other so they can kind yes. of see? It's and this very one close. is BB2S. BB2. But there you go. Yeah, and I think that's, yeah, that's pretty true to There's life. dark to light. Mm -hmm. And we always tell everybody that, um, oh, and, and then this a, one is W. Ooh, coming out kind of yellow. Oh, oh, this is a W2. This is just a cream. Yeah. Um, I think they call this one probably like more linen. Yeah. Is what I would say. Yeah. Really there pretty. Shadow play is just mm -hmm. such a nice. So these will be in the color wall fabric. category. I'll move back up to the what's new section for you guys. Uh, but you'll see these first. So if you're looking for a blue tonal or something, or I need a three yard quilt, or yeah, I don't know. They're really and we, pretty together. We tell people all the time, and you guys are really good about it. Put in the notes. Just say, hey, I'm hoping that blue is the right color, and we'll hook you up if it's not. Okay. Okay. And then that was one lone Hoffman box. A lone Hoffman. I don't know. Crush your fingers, people. I don't have room for petite. I'm gonna guess panels. No, There's one lone. Mm. I don't know. I will take anything but a petite. <laughs> <laughs> I know our petite area. There's a lot of petites back there. Oh, oh, oh I know what this one is. Um, this is like a so celebrate the seasons. They were gonna do it for another year. Um, so what I did instead of the big one, because heaven knows that... Oh, they're doing it again? They're, they're doing it again. Them? They're doing oh. different designs, oh, though. So they're also oh. doing... No, this is a mini set. Oh! Um, actually, like, flag size. Um, oh, my goodness. If you want to. And it's all one. So you get January through December in one panel. No oh, way. She's still rolling. Where did it end? Did it end? Is it the first few months? I thought oh. it was all of them. It is. I just don't know where to end because we've You started got... in the new year, right here. Oh, right there. Okay, let me cut this part real fast. Is that what everything is? You got a couple of them. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, because there's probably, I bet there's only four or five bolt uh, so panels. So you could do, I'll come back, Carolyn, and look. She's like, what do you have? <laughs> there is a window right behind us. Those of you that have been in the shop know where we're at in the shop and... Uh, so they watch us and but if you um, if you like the idea of having a door banner or you know something if mom's at the a flag on your camper or whatever yeah a flag on your camper something in your cubicle or your office um, you know you wouldn't it wouldn't have to be some great big huge you thing go. you really could just have a you want to go over and yeah care. if you guys know CK you guys talk Hello. to CK on the phone all the time this is fantastic oh, oh my gosh so it is oh, really wow. Oh, it's a little different from what the panels were. Yeah. So do you want to go to oh. each one? So January and February. February. Struck, struck by Cupid. Cupid. Ah. Happy go, go lucky. lucky for Are March. you following? Yes, us, Brianna. April showers may bring shower flowers. May flowers. May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. Yes. Sweet as can be. Oh, bloom with a, where you are planted. planted. Sorry, my glasses are <laughs> hanging on me, not <laughs> on me. <laughs> oh, July. Happy Independence Day. Life is sweet. Autumn awaits. Oh, that's sorry, cool sorry, 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 sorry. Trick or treat. Happy Thanksgiving. And of course, holiday wishes. Oh, so cool! It is. And how beautiful. big are those? Those I was are just very big. Say, because well, you could do about, twenty. Yeah. Because you could do the little banners for whatever you want outside of a. Yeah, I think nurse home, cubicle, any of that. You can also turn them into cute little bags. They're about fourteen by twenty. Cute. It's like a perfect size. Mm -hmm. You could do just. You could a also set trim it down. Bags. Yeah. 
You could turn it into a pillow. <gasps> Cute. Oh, pillow would be such a good idea. If you thought like the bench pillows, maybe you're in a small apartment or a little. You don't want to do all that apple oh, cake. You could do tiny little monthly pillows. Mm -hmm. These are cute. cute. Now they're probably going to be fairly spendy though, because what are we looking at? Are we looking at a two-yard oh, chunk of digital? Here, let's smell it. That's probably how long it is. just over two yards, almost three yards. Oh yeah, you're probably almost you're three probably yards. three yards. Well, I don't know. When we cut to take plastic off or whatever, I'll look it up for you guys and I'll tell you. Or you mm -hmm. Okay, look but it up. what would you pay for this? Because you're getting twelve. You're getting twelve mini panels. Mini panels. Digital. Yeah. All done for you. It's pretty good. I mean, you figure each panel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like the vet, if you only paid four dollars per panel, that would be forty-eight dollars. Yeah, it's not going to be that much. I know. I don't think it would be that much either. Pretty good deal. I mean, yeah. Yes, by now, you probably know. We do not know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's the problem with box openings. <laughs> gorgeous. You see it's at the same time we see it. Yeah. But yeah, and really cool. Just make yeah. it smaller and different from what you guys might already have if you're doing the big one. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to see what people might do with them. Yeah. You could do anything. Yeah, you really could. Yeah, and you're pillows. done. Little, and you wouldn't even have to if you wanted to do a banner outside, just a little wall hanging for your office or whatever. You wouldn't have to do anything. I know. You could literally just put a back on it, put, stitch it, and flip it, and psh, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to quilt it, you wouldn't have to add a border to it. It's a perfect size. Cute. Cute. I like and it. Since, uh, so Carolyn was just in here, Carolyn is the one that's always bringing show and tell. What did she say this was? So, and Carolyn um, it's is a our beginner bar show, isn't it? Is that a beginning bar show? Oh, it is. And this is just eight. Quarter yard cuts. Correct. That is one. Eight quarter yard one. cuts will make it this size. Um, she's the one when we're doing, um, Denise is our expert kit cutter, who's always cutting kits and then more kits. And just when we say, uh oh, we need four more, she's on it. So uh, Carolyn does a great job of putting all of the colors together. So she really likes to do that. And so all of those boutique half yard cuts that we did. Uh, and with those half yard cuts, you would be able to make two panels this size and you would be able to make it twice the size. And so um, this is a beginning Bargello. Um, you would need about a yard for a border. This one obviously has two borders on it, but pretty cute. And just throw size. Did you look it up? I looked it up. It is $44.95 for one panel, which is less than $4 a month. Well, there you go. It's totally worth it. What a deal. Yeah. Well, it's a digital three yard panel. Right. So right. So that makes sense. That makes sense because you figure one yard mm -hmm. of digital fabric yeah. is going to cost you $15. $15. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's about the same price. Sense. Yeah. Well, super cool. Yeah. I love it. I think it's great. It's a great idea. And it's a little more. I don't know. For me, I, I can, yeah, I, and I can make the time to do a stitch and flip each month really, really mm -hmm. fast. I may not be able to mm -hmm. dedicate enough time to put a border mm -hmm. or to do the applique or do the bench pillow, but I could dedicate what the hour, let's just say even an hour. Yeah. It's not going to take you that long, but. And you could put all you of those borders on it. Yeah. You could make it any size you want. You don't have yeah. to keep it little, but it's nice to know that you could. You could. Yeah. You could be done. Super cool. I think that's why I'm a lot impressed. of people don't want to do block of the month and different things is because they don't want that kind of commitment. Right. To do that. And sometimes space. Mm -hmm. Do you have the space for what the block of the month is? Yeah. How do you make it smaller? Yeah. Can you make have it smaller? Have we talked about a temperature quilt? No. You guys know what that is? I've seen the yeah. temperature knitted ones. I do. I know that. Can you believe it? I know you it. Know? <laughs> I, oh, I have knitted one. I've seen knitted ones where they do a row for every day of the year, though. Well, I don't yeah. know how you do that. It's every it's day, every of, the day year. of the year. Mm. It's every day of the year. Well, this Yvette Renee, she's starting one. She's doing one. She started one, Sally's I think, last year. One. Sally's making mm -hmm. one. And Yvette, I think she said that she started one last year. And maybe the year before, I might have that wrong. But shes it's a huge commitment because you make the block every year. And so what you do, um, everybody does it a different way. But she has a really cute video. Um, and I think... Um, it's only like a 13 minute video of about how she's going to do it and she really feels like she can she can do it. I want to do one. I just know that this is not the year 
that mm -hmm. I can take on that where that's what I have to sew every day because what you do is typically you either do just the high temperature of the day what the temperature was at noon you know in your area or the low temperature and the high so what it was at mm -hmm. night and what it was how high it got and you have your little color, color chart, chart. Mm -hmm. for what color of fabric you're going to do for that temperature and it has this wavy kind of a fun I'll have to, to watch and you her choose and your see block what she, does. she did like a block a square and a square is what she did for her block and Sally and that same block doing, every single day every just single day whatever color. same block is just whatever color it is cool. and it might just be always the same for five days in a row but typically not but and so you can just Neat. look and I know I think it's a really cool thing to do it it's just such a commitment it is yeah so yeah. I mean and I think we know a lot of people that really do so every day mm -hmm. and if you have dedicated time to go and go oh, I'm just gonna whip out this five minute block that would be I think it's no big deal but I don't know that I oftentimes I don't I have something else I'm doing yeah. and it'd be a fun uh -huh. something to do maybe with your guild Mm -hmm. So it's like Weight Watchers, you know, you have someone who's going to help you hold accountable. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't do the 16th. Oh, I did. And it was, you know, it's, mm -hmm. was this temperature or whatever. Mm -hmm. Someone who can help you along, get you going mm -hmm. or do whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do it next year. Do a block swap with like six people. So every Tuesday, I get Tuesday. <laughs> I'm the Tuesday. <laughs> I'm oh this. my gosh, you cheater. <laughs> I know. But smart, right? But smart. Make sure you only have like eight people in your block swap because you have to make eight blocks every Tuesday. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, Denise is like, I'm always Denise says that. Yeah, Denise is like, yeah. we got our people. <laughs> we got our people. Tracy, you in? She's you got Wednesday? No. <laughs> I know. I I really want to do one, and I'll, I would be that person who's like, "Oh, this is the third year I've started it, so I just have to get my act together by <laughs> by February 10th when I have to resume, you know, or whatever." Yeah. So I I just I know when I'm just too busy, yeah, you know, to add one more thing, and yeah. and so I'll link um, in the description below. I'll link um, link our video video. Yeah. So if yeah. you're interested or think it's a cool yeah. idea or want to see, yeah, you can check it out. Yeah. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, let's open. Uh, let's it's do either Shannon or I don't know, Wyndham well, or Anthology. Let's do Shannon and get that kind of. Oh, Lordy. Well, Shannon, we know it's going to be. Here. Nice Shannon, fluffy goodness. We know it's yeah gonna be minky, which Maisie needs another little she does fluffy one because Harper won't give up she any of hers. <laughs> no. None. I've asked, and she said no. No. Then there's Sweet Wyatt. He said, oh, should you borrow my dinosaur one? Like, mm -hmm. oh, honey, keep your dinosaurs. Because mm -hmm. you're too sweet. I'm not going to take them. Yeah. You're going to give me. But Harper, <laughs> man, this is the whole deal with Harper, is that it is a whole nother level. Because she is not, we were talking about her this morning. She's not mean. She's not mean at all. She's very, she's way too smart. Because yeah. she's not just going to say, no, you're not getting my blanket. She's going to say, I'm going to give you this one instead. Yeah. And um, and you can't or talk her out of you it. You can't use it until I need it back. And then I'm going to have it back. She, uh, I, I think I mentioned this back when it happened. She uh, did this painted little artwork, you know, and then I went over to their house. And she goes, oh, look, Nana, I made this for you. And I said, oh, my gosh, you made that for me? She says, yeah, I did. And I said, that's great. So I'll take it home and I'll put it on my fridge. And she says, oh, no, we're going to leave it here. And I said, oh, but it's for me? Yes. You can look at it you when you come. You can see it when you come here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she just doesn't, no. you know. Doesn't no, be. no. Yeah, I'm not going to give you this blanket, mm -hmm. but you can have this one. Yeah. yeah. The other day, her and Dad were talking about ice cream, and Robert's like, well, should we trade the baby for ice cream? And No, we didn't want to do that. I wanted the baby. You know, she didn't want to get rid of the baby. Um, but she's decided that if people come over, they should bring ice cream to be able to hold the baby. Yes. So she's going to pimp her baby out for yeah. ice cream. <laughs> That's, so now you know. If you want to hold the baby, uh, Harper cream. needs a pig. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. She's a funny girl. Yeah. She's adorable. Oh, Ooh. Oh, oh, this is the market baby. baby stuff. We, Ooh, oh my gosh, when we were at market, it was nice because we were able to go into the Minky booth and they had all of it there. And we kept that poor girl. I think market closed at 6 and I think we sat there till 6.30. They weren't going to kick her out or us out. Oh, a little Shanna calendar. Oh, calendar. Oh, that's nice. Oh, very nice. Looks like there's a bunch. Let's see. Wait, well, yeah, there's only three in here. Must... Maze oh, needs this one. This one is beautiful. 
should we open the, because there's one, two, there's three boxes. Yeah, maybe we'll open we'll the open open boxes. boxes, get the plastic off, and then. I wonder if that one is two. Oh, think? yes, because of the rope. Oh, the rope. <gasps> okay, okay. Super excited. So um, we even got the girls from the front <laughs> coming to feel it. Oh. So it is a double-sided minky. So those of uh, it's you don't have to do anything, literally nothing. So this one will open it up for you. But it is a cool neon, awesome cheetah print, and the back is just yes. solid white. But you wouldn't have to do anything. You could cut it. You could not. You could tie it, make a little fleece blanket out of a really pretty minky. You can put the binding on it. We saw this at market and they had made a robe out of it. Oh. And so, right? Because the other nice thing is that when you sew Minky, Minky doesn't have a raw edge. Mm -hmm. And so where you cut this, at first you're gonna have that nap, you're gonna have all of this stuff that goes everywhere, but as soon as you give it a really good shake, there's no, it's like wool. Um, or polar fleece. There's no um, raw edge. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to hem it. You don't have to do anything you yeah, want. Put a cuff and on so, it. You don't have to. And so all you have to do is when you sew your seam for your mm -hmm. robe, just, you know, make it kind of a nice tight seam and then you're good. You don't have to do anything else. No. And that's what we saw is we saw at market a robe out of this one. It's beautiful. This is one that Denise is eyeing. You know what's so, cute? So one of Wyatt's favorite quilts is a little baby shark one that has mm -hmm. fins that he has little pockets that he can stick his hand in and a hat and a hood. Yeah. So yeah. you can do the same thing out of this is just to pocket in a hood and make it, you know, just cut it square blanket. and then put three little triangles. Yeah. That's all it is, is you'd have your little triangle hood and your little triangle, triangle hands. hands. Cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Even the Jamma bottoms. Oh, they have that. Jamma oh, bottoms. Oh, that's a yeah, I've amazing. done that. I've done lined pajamas. Reanimate, made pajamas. Reanimate <laughs> minky lined <laughs> pajama bottoms. Uh, two layers. Yeah, see? Uh, uh, she wore them for a long time. She was super hot. Then she was naked. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. Bad idea. Ah, we could have lasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fill my pants. I'm taking a <laughs> If I come to work, Cindy, in those instead of these, That's you'll right. know why. Wow. <laughs> you know. Carolyn's always cold. Carolyn's always cold. <laughs> really nice. So anyway, so <gasps> yeah, this is, you don't have to do anything. It's double sided. So it's 60 inches wide. So really even, you know, a yard and a half. 54 by 60 and you don't have to do anything nothing you do not do not you could put a binding on it but i would not there's absolutely no reason to love it the or way it get is. what you need and you know the whole thing with a pattern somebody's going to ask and say oh but do you have a pattern for a robe yeah the robe that fits you lay it out on the floor and cut around it and cut your two pieces that's it that's all like that's the, how we do pajama pants like how the grinch makes his suit, Santa yeah, suit. that's, that's how exactly we do it. how you can we do make it. robes and we make pajama pants that way mm -hmm. yeah yep. so that's it <gasps> so, oh, so i cute. love that it's, it so, makes it even better that it's double sided oh there's not enough on here there's not enough um if you so now is the time we have to tell you that if you go to the website it's gone and it's not, and it doesn't show it. It's because it's all gone. Yeah. So, um, and where they would find this on the website, they'd go to shop online and click what's new. What's I will new? move the minky cuddle <coughs> category up. Um, so you'll see these um, five new bolts first, and then you'll see whatever else is in stock. Mm -hmm. um, I have to tell you, these three bolts that we'll show you are the only three that are double sided. Yeah. Um, I guess they're printed double sided. There is a, is it a fleur? Spa? fleur? I, but that is the same color on both sides. I think it is called spa. Spa? Spa. And I think, and I think there's like three colors. There's purple, a, aqua, and pink? I think so. I think, but this one's the only one that actually has a print with it's white on the back. Say. It's yeah. super cool. But you'll see these first. Um, but yeah, there's only a couple, 13 yards on here. If you guys like this, if it goes really, really well, we'll order more. We'll order more. Well, but but this is keep we in mind, we, we, saw, we ordered this the in last October. week of October. Yeah, that's And how that's how long it took. Yeah, Maybe so. these are the only ones. I don't know. But yeah, there's this leopard print with the white. Mm -hmm. There's this super oh. cute... Um, I was going to say unicorn. Rainbow. Um, a rainbow. <laughs> unicorn farts. Yeah, you know. yeah there you, you know, go. You know. <laughs> oh, they're upside down. But rainbows. With or the, smiley faces. Or smiley faces. Wait, 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 smiley faces. It's not rainbows. <laughs> uh, white on the back. 
This would be super cute if you guys have any of the ballerina fabric that we'd gotten in the last couple oh, yeah. months, whether it's the fairies or the actual little cute little ballerinas. Mm -hmm. This would be really cute, I think. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And then the pink roses. And it's kind of a peachy pink. Yeah, peach pink. Rosy. Yeah, rosy. Yeah, yeah. with a sage leaf. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty. Really yeah. elegant. Really. We saw this was what they had turned into a robe. A robe. Was that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this um, this will sell out quickly. I believe Brianna is taking home a goodly amount. Yeah, me and uh, Maisie said she wanted some. Maisie says, I need it. I need it for when I finally decide to stop clutching, yeah. clutching mama. Because <laughs> Harper doesn't share. No. Um, these Harper are will take this also. Oh, oh gosh, probably will. <laughs> yeah, probably right. Um, this is just good old regular minky, so it's not double-sided. And that's called Lux, And right? this is the Lux. This is Carolyn's favorite uh, collection out of the minky. Mm -hmm. um, but it's super cool because it's like tie-dyed almost. Mm -hmm. This one's all charcoal black. Looks like, you know, a night lightning sky. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. There's a dark blue that is super, super popular Yeah, this also. one. What's Galaxy Denim Night. Yes. And then this one is uh, Heather oh, Quartz. Oh, Heather Quartz. This one I think they used to have as a two-yard cut. And there it is. And they don't anymore? Oh, uh, they might still. I don't know. I feel like I recognize it, though. Mm-hmm. That's what made me think it was that fox one. Yeah. It so it's like. super pretty. Super nice. But yeah, in the Minky section, you might still see the regular two yard cuts if you're looking for backing still. Oh, yeah. Or... Those are really nice because they come in lots of colors, and so it's two yards, so they're 60 by 72. So if you're doing a lap size quilt, just grab one, all the cuttings then done for you. Yeah. Easy to ship. And then um, we also, we thought we had a smaller box of Minky, but it was a big box of patterns. And so we have two different, and these are also, this must be the week that a lot of the market stuff is coming. It must be, yeah. Which is kind of funny because, again, that was it's three months so ago. Much longer. That's yeah. why we can never remember anything. So this is um, a coach, coach house. house design. Some of these were new um, at market and some of them were old ones that we just really, really liked. So this one, I remember Bunnytown. Um, if you've been watching us for a while, you've seen this before. So it's just a really cute little pattern and she did it with a layer cake. And so it's just a little applique bunny. Um, and I think this was Effie's, Effie's Woods fabric, which I think we still have a little bit of Effie's Woods left. So if you like it to look like this, yeah, Denise I think is we, out there and nodding yeah, we have three cuts of it even. Even a layer cake. You I, think? I think so. Uh, oh, Denise is nodding. I'm, no, not I'm getting word from the street. No, <laughs> no, no layer cake. But that's okay. There's, but yeah, super cute. And this one is Christmas Village. Super, super cute. And it also takes a layer, layer cake. cake. Mm -hmm. Bunch of pre-cuts. Cute though. Really super, cute. Super, super cute. This one is adorable. Alpine Meadow. I really, really like it. This one also a um, layer cake. So, and really that's just 10 inch squares. So you can do that out of anything. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. are trying to use up things in their stash. You can make your own layer cakes. Just get your fabrics, you know, find those weird little mm -hmm. leftover pieces. We did a whole video about that and just cutting things into, um, I do the two and a half inch strips and I do five inch squares and 10 inch squares because I have so, there's so much pattern support to be able to use that fabric up. Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is pull out that bin and count out and pick your 42 10 inch squares you don't have to go purchase a layer cake just create your own out of your stash and just have a collection and it of patterns keeps your, that you like. your scraps tidy mm -hmm. you know everyone has that scrap basket that you have to either refold what we're going to do with this mm -hmm. funny weird half of a fat quarter we'll cut it up and then donate your other scrap bits to a you know to do a some there's maybe someone in your area who does dog beds mm -hmm. they can use that as dog bed stuffing yeah. Um, for the local Humane Society or the vet clinic. So, I may have to open this because I can't hardly stand it. I just have to show you, if you couldn't tell, it is a posy. So see, one is on a dark background and one is on a light background. But see, this is what the flower, what it looks like. Isn't that adorable? And it just so goes cute. every which way. I love this one. Okay. And super easy um, piecing. Super easy piecing. Yeah. This one is called Fall Awakening. This one again is 10 inch friendly, 10 inch square friendly. Super, super cute. Love it. This would be great to use with flannels or batiks. This would be super fast. Sorry, I'm still fussing. Um, fading stars. Super cute. 
uses again um, a layer cake and a background. Super cute. But again, you can see how cute it would be scrappy in any 10 inch squares. It doesn't have to be a coordinating 10 inch squares. If you've got purple, greens, and yeah, Woo. it doesn't matter. This is so similar to, um, oh, it's also a layer cake, but it's the line that all we layer just, cakes. Oh, yeah. So the line that we just showed, oh, um, that one, uh, frond. Frond. Yeah, totally. That totally looks like that could be frond. And again, get some half yard cuts. I probably wouldn't get half yards. I'd probably get, because uh, with half yards with a 10 inch squares, you would have some waste. You could also, with that strip though, you could either do a scrappy border, scrappy binding. That's true. Cut it into five inch squares. You still have waste. Well, no, you really wouldn't. You'd have your 10 inch squares. You have five inch squares and you have two and a half inch strips. You would have no waste. Boom. A 10 inch strip, five inch strip, two and a half inch. No there waste. you go. Boom. Uh, this one is called Pocket Full of Posies. This one's super cute. Um, a little like oh. a half quarter snowball blocks. Super fast. Super cute. Oh, cute. Do you that one? Look at this little Christmas one. I, we've had this one before. Christmas treats. So this one, also a layer cake. Again, better over you. And just really fun. Christmas, so there's candies and trees. Cute presents. This one is a Scrap Happiness, and this is actually after we have this fabric. Oh, we, we do have, have that fabric. Uh, happiness Blooms. Oh, yeah, we that have is that fabric. fabric line. Do we have, Denise, do we have layer cakes of that? Oh. I'm getting weird on the street. She's, She's gonna go checking. look. She's gonna go look. Um, I think we do. I have some fat quarters, maybe. But super, super cute. This is panels. I think we only have the dark panels left. Not and this is ones. a bunch of half square triangles. Super, super cute. Cute. She's looking. We have a light out there that is oh, a ballast Halloween. is going out. Um, same fabric collection. Happiness Blooms. Oh. Um, this one is called A Layer of Blooms. And just a little small box. But you can see same collection oh. and different how they both they look different. We have one white and some Super white. cute. One. First one. one gets it. One layer cake left. That is a this is a really cute line though. Happiness mm -hmm. blooms. I don't know what else came that same time. I'm surprised that there's so much of it left. I, I mean, there's not a lot, but there's I mean enough pieces that you could you could do what you want. Because I to. always thought it'd be really pretty to do star stepping out of it. Use the God, panel as your focus block, and then lights and darks. I mean, that's all your collection is. Yeah, it's really really pretty. It's um, charcoaly gray and greens. Yeah. And did you show this one? No. <gasps> Bring me flowers. This is fantastic because this is kind of That's if a layer of blooms and alpine meadow had a baby, mm -hmm. they have would have this pattern. pattern. So you can see there's kind of a great big blossom there, and then there's those little posies in there. So cute. really cute. And also a layer cake. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so fat quarter packet. Denise yeah. Showing us. Yeah. Fat quarter packet. And this fat quarter packet does have the panels. both of the panels mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, oh, Happiness Blooms is so pretty. It really is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Deb Strain's art. And if you like this, but you don't like this big of a quilt, you can do the exact same thing in five inch squares. Just make your block oh, smaller. Oh, you totally could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there's the, this is the only white one, right? Yeah. Last one. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to show you this one just so that you're not. Because <laughs> there's only like what? Seven there's not very many of these, of yeah. these left. There's not very the many of these left. Really There's good. only one of that one left, but yeah, the panel is really cute. Yeah, adorable. It's just really sweet. Cute. Deb Strain. I like what she does. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyway, so patterns, all new patterns from my Coach House, Coach House Designs. Designs. And then there was also patterns from Calico Patch. Now, Calico Patch, I feel like we were going to do some kits out of these. I'm trying to remember what we were talking mm. about three months ago. Let's see. One. One of the dark one and one of the... I think one this one. is the one we're doing kits out of. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't need a lot of those. I don't think so. Oh, we're doing kits out of this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have three to show you at the moment. Because the others will be... A Our, yes. We have some little prep work to do first. But this is super cute. Because what she does, <coughs> you can do it out of cotton. 
or if you like to do it out of wool she likes to do it out of wool and it's really cute so this is just a little 12 inch square so it can just be a little wall hanging or if you're doing little banners but really cute and I know it's Christmassy or wintry, but you know, get started now. Then you're not all in a tizzy. And or say whatever you want to say. It doesn't have to say, but it says Merry Christmas to you. And it's a tree, and the lamb is on some snow. Okay. What's oh. weird is there's some flowers near the snow, so I it's don't know. Holly. There was a oh, there was Holly. a daddy you trying to get her to kiss him under the mistletoe. Oh, it's my story. She's That's scared of the story. I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for that. Um, this one's cute. Ha autumn wool basket. I love this one. It's a little pillow. Is it this one? Mm -mm. They're two different pillows. Let me see. I'm showing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to one. shop. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's all wool, but there's pillow, the little oh. lace trim there. Just really pretty applique. And again, just because it's wool doesn't mean you have to use it out of wool. You can do regular applique all you want. Stitch it down, not stitch it down. And the pattern is really nice because she tells you exactly the size of wool you need. You need a four and a half by seven and a half inch piece for your one of your flowers. So I really like that. I and love that's my really favorite. really cute too because I love all of the textures. I so feel this like I one is make called that one. Farmhouse. I'm going to take it out so it's not such a glare. So, glare. so um, with the um, pillow, you can see that there's some pieced bits, there's some lace bits and so and again I you can do it one. out of cotton or you can do it out of wool but really really cute mm -hmm. um farmhouse fall pillow this is really super cute. cute this is a good time it makes me think of tracy's um collage stuff that tracy does and so this is a good time to mention this because this was the other thing that i wanted to mention is um we are in the process of emailing let's see if you're watching this on sunday you have received your first email saying hey thanks for signing up for the retreat um here's a little bit of information you need to know just to kind of get started and going forward and we are in the process of making little quick little videos about this is how you want to organize your fabric this is what you want to bring with you tracy is of course done with okay. hers mm -hmm. and so um and she's letting you know what you should be out. collecting yeah and maybe what we'll do is just so you can kind of see because Tracy's Tracy's is going to be super super fun. Yeah, I'm um, excited about her. I'm really excited about hers. Tracy is that person that will show you how to make all of those really cool things that we go to craft fairs and we spend too much money on. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to make your own. Um, or uh, and the other thing too that I think that she didn't mention in her little video, and I think that we talked about it, is that um, we said you didn't need to bring a sewing machine. Not that you can't, and not that you can't right. use one of ours. If after you're done in the evening, or you know, if you want to stay up all night and sew, or sew during the day while your glue is drying, oh, mm -hmm. you absolutely can sew. It would never be. Or forbidden. if you want to go with your daughter or your sister, and they want to do the whole crafty goodness, Tracy goodness, yeah, and do our sewing. Bring interested your in daughter that. and your daughter in law, your and you come and make a quilt. Yeah, you sew, and she can craft for you. Yeah. You don't um, have to. Sent yeah. Me some yeah. really fun pictures. She's at a, at a quilt show and some really oh. fun mixed media quilts. Oh. <laughs> okay. So like what we'll do, stuff. we'll attach some yeah. pictures and then we'll yeah. attach Her Tracy's video. little video of the kinds of things that you're going to kind yeah. of possibilities. I'm gonna have a better, I'm gonna Didn't you send that video with your email? So, hmm? You that? send in that video with your email? No, not yet. Well, I just I said there will be a video forthcoming, so I haven't sent because... Oh, got it, got it. Tracy's the only one who's done. We're not yeah. going to take it out. They put little, like, old no thumb way. cord oh. and rivets and DVDs. Yeah, or, yeah, CDs. I'll put, I'll plug it. Send that me that picture. Oh, I'll plug okay. it in for them. But they're they really, here. I thought it was really cool. Neat. You didn't have to do that. They already saw it. They already saw it. Yeah, I just go, boop. I see it again. Power of editing. <laughs> oh, my God. She really wants you to see the I really see it. That's cool. I never thought to, you know, poke holes in it. The only thing I've done is... grommets. All I've ever done is poke holes to do little twinkle lights on the panel. You know what's fun is it's that whole thing. A lot of it depends on how many, how many quilts you've made. Oh. You know, if you've not. made <laughs> hundreds of quilts... Pretty soon it's like, uh, I want, want to try, try something, something weird. You oh. know, something a little bit come, different. Come to something Tracy's retreat. Something outside of the outside box. the box. No pattern. Just make it up as you go. Yes. <laughs> Tracy yeah. will make sure you make it outside the box. I'm excited that I'm going to be doing Tracy's retreat. It's cool. Yes. 
All right. All right. We're going to clean this up, and then we've got two boxes from Anthology, Anthology Wyndham. or Wyndham or one or the other. Yeah. They're considered bomb textiles is the all over, but oh. all right. We'll be right back. All right. We are on to our last few boxes. Last few boxes. Um, so this is uh, Wyndham or Wyndham or Zanth I don't know. It it's says the both on the box. Sister company. So. so. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Tracy left two cents. Well, they're not half of a teeks, but <laughs> they're half of a teeks. These are cool. These are really pretty. It's kind of a pink I love ladder. this. Oh, yeah, this, this is really pretty. There. I like this one. I don't know why there's just one rogue black white one. Well, what's in the other box, though? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cute, though. That might you know, have your I hope remember floats. thinking, yeah, the Hope Floats, because we have, um, we should insert a picture of our Hope Floats. Is that the mm -hmm. one that we were doing when we did the class? Was that one? Or no. Or was that just a, well, huh? but we had a, we had a, a panel that was similar to this. It was alphabet, mm -hmm. and I think it spells out something. Yeah. I remember what it said. Oh, you did? I spelled out something. Yeah, because I think our sample that you did in the class is black and white. Mm -hmm. And then the one that's on the wall. That's it? Yeah. It might spell something. I don't know. It was, it was it's quite cute. a few quilts ago. But anyway, it does spell something out. I don't remember what it says, but it says four different words. Yeah, Hopeless is really cute and a really this versatile one. This reminds me, Benetex had a line 20 years ago called Genius Baby. Oh yeah, that was like this, except mm -hmm. it had black or black and white or all colors. Let That's me... really cute. All right, I'll we'll cut that or figure out how to, what's going on in that one, and then I'll get the other box open oh, and we'll see what's going on. Running yardage. Oh, it must be. Even... Okay, so more batiks, but these are really cool batiks. These are really nice, and uh, we love batiks. It's what we tend to migrate to, and it's what yeah, we make most true. things out of. But. Um, it's just that we have a lot of batiks at the moment. So, um, but what's really nice about these is this is sort of a basic. Is it called splatter? It's called yeah, it's splatter. Splatter. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like we got all of the colors of it. It's a really cool texture, and it's one of those that you really could put with batiks, or this would be really really nice with a digital print. Yeah. If you have a digital panel or a digital fabric, mm -hmm. and you were looking for something that would coordinate with it. Yeah, those this is really really um, nice. That party animal collection from mm -hmm. I think quite last month these are oh, really oh, yeah. good yeah because it's nice clear crisp colors with yeah spattering of either one color or multiple colors yeah which is really cool and it's really soft mm -hmm. it's a really really nice fabric and yes. I don't know why this was in the box it has oh. nothing to do with anything but it is really cool where are you and going it's to Wyndham it's not even anthology <laughs> Know. Sister company, Sister company but, but still, somebody in the... They usually send Wyndham fat bolts. Do you think we're going to get or some other weird I can box? Of, we never know. We don't even If know we do, you on. guys will get the panel first and be prepared for what's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this will sell out quickly because it's just the one bolt and it's not a panel. It's, um, I guess we'll just hold it upside down. Is oh, that what we want to do? Or we can get it oh, there you go. Um, because where are you going to put this on the website? I'm going to put this in with splatter. Okay. It's going to be actually in the novelty section, but since we're going to show it with the splatter splatter line, I will put them all together. If you don't see it, it's because it's, it's all gone. gone. Yeah. And so um, if we go by, the, it'll be sold by the yard. And when we cut it, and a yard is probably going to end up being... It'll be to A. I think, because there's A right there. Well, maybe that's what we need to do. There's the oh, there line. is a cut line. I see it. There is a cut line. I think we should do it by panel. So, when it, oh yeah, by panel, because that's not quite a yard. It might be. I bet it's a yard. It's a yard. <laughs> but I think it's super cute. I love that it's um, alphabet. There's a few numbers in here, and I love the either just the picture or just the texture. I think it's adorable. I, think it's I can't great. believe we only got one bolt of it. Yeah. This is another one of those that if you like to color your fabric or you want your, you know, the grandkids or the kids to do it, this would be a really fun one. You can yeah. give them some special um, fabric markers or um, permanent markers that don't bleed. Um, it's a spe Or you can use crayons. Um, you can do a couple things, but it's cute. cute. I really like I it. I like it too. All right. So it's good to know then that it's panels. Yes. That we can. Okay. Okay. I'm going to come around so you guys can see the colors. Okay. How are you doing? Kind of a 
Y'all yeah, do a quick pan. So again, it's all the same texture, but the colors. Oh, they're so vibrant. That's pretty nice. They're looking really good. Yeah. I like, I kind of feel like, what is, how many other? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14. I feel like we should do maybe some half yard cuts. I would be one of those people that, I mean, I might make a quilt out of all of them, but I would love to just have these in my, yeah. in my stash to use with things when I'm looking for a color, because like, look at that. This is that really perfect fuchsia with all of those colors. There's blue, teal, green, orange, yellow. That is a perfect piece of fabric right there. Yeah could use that with a lot of stuff. I could use that for my Valentine project. Yeah. Maybe. Here is a really cool, what color would you call that? Sea foam? Yeah, sea foam. With some yellow, pink, a little bit of green. Oh, this one is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's a mustardy yellow, dark yellow, pink, green, purple, fuchsia. They all really go well together. Yeah, they really do. With the colors. There's multiple colors for all of them. And it's not directional at all. You could use it in blocks. You could use it in a border. I love this one. I love the one with the gray. What color is that? Because you've got the multicolored. So you've got mm -hmm. all of the bright colors splattered on this gray, which you don't mm -hmm. see very often. Mm -mm. It's either on a black or a yeah. white. But yeah. I love that it's multi on um, mm -hmm. a medium gray. Yes, and this medium gray, I believe, will take on the color of green or blue or purple. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's going to be one of those magical colors that we all know when we see that. That's like, oh my gosh, it, it looks different colors. And then, oh, this really perfect purple. And it's got... Oh, it like twinkles. Yeah. Really nice. Cute. I like it. Yeah. I definitely good cherry red. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And the orange. Really nice. Nice. They've like picked it was quite a lengthy process because they didn't always use every colors every color in the splatter. Right, that's true. Every splatter is a mm -hmm. different little combination. They did a really good job. I am very oh. impressed. And look at the difference with these two greens so you can see what the difference is. So this one has far more of the fuchsia and the purple in it and kind of a peachy and it's a darker green. And then this one is a limeier green. Yeah, which is two tones. Yeah. So that's the difference cool. with those two. And oh my gosh. I yeah. feel like I need like three yards of this one. This one's going to go fast. This one is going to go super fast because that is a perfect fabric and so soft. Yeah, I think three yards because this would be a really good background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, if you don't see it on the website, it's because somebody just beat you to it. And this one, oh, let's see what the difference is with yellow. that yellow. So that's the difference is there's the bright yellow and then there's kind of this, I don't know, almost Who's a copper co Coppery yellow. gold. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and then this. It looks black, but it's really a dark, 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 navy. dark, dark, dark blue. Yeah, with very all navy. All those colors. And you can see the difference with kind of this colonial blue. Uh, indigo, maybe? Indigo. Oh, yeah, yeah I think so. It's dark blue. It's this color. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, it's really nice. Oh. All right. Okay. Little Miss is just sitting over here watching us. I don't know. She's doing she had another blowout, so that's what happened. She had to be oh, unrobed and her second day. cleaned up. And but luckily, I had restocked my diaper bag, had everything ready. She has everything organized, so cute, just in little yeah baggies of. It's a really smart idea because when there's a blowout, it's everything. It's the socks. It's everything. I just do a um, sandwich bag. And so she's got her onesie, her pants, and her pair of socks. So I can put the dirty ones in here and take out the clean ones. And then they're good to go. This isn't your first rodeo. Nah. And then I also have these stashed. I have one set stashed in my car in case we're at somewhere without a diaper bag. I don't know what's going to happen. And in Robert's truck, he's got a little, um, like a... Uh, toiletry bag that has a couple diapers, wipes, and um, two different outfits in case he happens to take the baby and forget the diaper bag. I mean, 
That's it usually, could happen. It could happen to him. It happens more when they're more toddler and they're off of the bottle, but um, with the bottle, he doesn't take her really anywhere. This size scares her, him, and um, she's bigger. She's smaller than his hand, yeah. so he doesn't do good itty bitty. I know you're sleepy. She's sleepy. So yeah. All so, right. So let's see. So we have the um, splatter mm -hmm. batik, which would be fantastic with all of your digital fabrics. We have all of the patterns from Coach House Designs and Calico Patch. We had a bunch of notions. Yep. We finally have the last of the threads so that we'll be getting those block of the month kits and everything yep. out to you um, tomorrow, this next week. Uh, and then we'll start that series here pretty soon. We'll make sure everybody gets all of their stuff first. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, the double-sided minky. Double-sided minky. So this can go super fast too. We, me and Maze are going to get a little chunk. We might take what's left, but... Um, um, still will I get it first because it won't get me Yeah, that. I know. There's not. Um, and then, and then just some um, blue basics from the very beginning from the Notion box. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was another fabric line Minky. that we opened, though. No, I think it was just Minky. Do we open another line? Minky. Minky. Splatter. The yeah, Shadow how Place. How many boxes did we open? We opened all Two boxes of oh, Notions. Oh, because the Minky... Oh yeah, the notions were two big boxes because that Minky fabric was, was in three. the bottom. Minky was three humongous boxes. And this was two. And it seems like we got through a lot of boxes, but it's been hours. Yeah. I mean, for us, it this, I don't know, 45 minutes, how long is it going to be? <laughs> it takes us it's almost four, four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while. It's crazy. All right. I think that All might right, be I think it. that was everything. Oh, and I do want to tell you guys, I meant to tell you Wednesday, um, and I have forgotten, but you know that big sepia panel with the horse head and the chaps? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were able to order more, more bolts of that. Yeah. So if you happened to check back, um, I do have them available for sale. They will probably ship Wednesday of... You know, did you just week. go ahead and turn it back on I did. on the website? Yeah. So it's turned on, so you might not see it in a box opening. Go ahead and just order it mm -hmm. and know that, because um, there's only nine panels on a bolt, and you yeah. were able to order two I more ordered bolts. two. And so um, we'll just ship those out. So if yeah. you want to just buy it and say, hey, I might order something else, hang on to that, then um, mm -hmm. Tracy's really good about refunding your shipping if she's yeah. going to combine something. Because it'll probably ship, I'm guessing, Wednesday or Thursday of next week. I think that, but who knows. Um, but yeah, so if you want to, um, if you're hoping to get one of those and missed out, uh, check back. Once again, those of you that watch to, to the, the end, end. I, know, I don't know why that's when we always think, that's oh, wait, when the pearls thing. of wisdom. If you feel like you've had enough, at least forward, fast forward all the way to the end. And see, yeah. and again, only the people watching it uh, will get this tip. No, to so. watch the last like eight minutes. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's when all the good stuff happens. <laughs> the recap just enlightens us for a whole bunch more. Yes. But yeah. yes, all the secrets happen at the end. All right. All right. I think that's it. And then um, Wednesday morning, we have some fun things um, to, uh, to talk about. And we they keep reminding us that you have not yet told the Robert story about the... Um... Oh, yes, the Robert. <laughs> so oh, I feel like we've, we'll make it we've not that. told husband stories for long enough that those, one. whoever was watching and tattling on us... <laughs> We've weeded them out, and it's safe again to talk about our husbands. Oh, okay, shit, it's a good one. It's funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll write, 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 write that down to remember that. I'm going to write it down. Yes. I'm going to say, all right, now it's time to yeah. tell it. <laughs> and we're going to tell it at the end, so. Yeah. Right? That's when we're going to remember. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. All right, you guys. Enjoy the rest of yeah. your weekend. Happy Sunday, and uh, we'll see you Wednesday morning. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.